Hello, church family. I hope you all are doing well and just want to personally thank you for tuning in to into today's Heart to Home devotional. And again, I would just like to welcome anybody that does not attend our church that just stumbled upon this video. Uh, we're just thankful to have you join us. And uh, today's devotional is titled, Walk the Walk. And so what led me to this is I was, I was looking through 1 John as I was looking for something to do a devotional on today. And well, there's a lot in that, that, that book, uh, but I came across a verse that I had highlighted at some point and I just felt the Spirit say, that's the one, talk about that. And so let's take a look at 1 John chapter 2, verses 3 through 11. And when we look at the New King James, we read, Now by this we know that we know him, if we keep his commandments. He who says, I know him, and does not keep his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word, truly the love of God is perfected in him. By this we know that we are in him. He who says he abides in him ought himself also to walk just as he walked. Brethren, I write no new commandment to you, but an old commandment which you have had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word which you heard from the beginning. Again, a new commandment I write to you, which thing is true in him and in you, because the darkness is passing away and the true light is already shining. He who says he is in the light and hates his brother is in darkness until now. He who loves his brother abides in the light and there is no cause for stumbling in him. But he who hates his brother is in darkness and walks in darkness and does not know where he is going because the darkness has blinded his eyes. So in the first few verses that we didn't read, that we didn't cover here, John the Evangelist both encourages and warns about sin. Um, John reassures his teachers that when a saved believer sins, Christ will plead our case with God. Jesus did take the punishment for our sins on the cross, then, and he freely gave himself for that. Now in verse 3, this is where he is warning those who claim to know Christ, yet disobey his word. They're not only lying to themselves, but they are lying to all of those around him. We also see in verses 7 through 11, the way one thinks about, acts toward, and, and treats other professing believers is a powerful indicator of the relationship that he has with Christ. So in verse 6, uh, this is where I had highlighted um, some time ago. And it says, He who says he abides in him ought himself also to walk just as he walked. Now what does that mean to me? What does this teach us as students? Of the Word of God. I mean to simply put it, you know, walk the walk. The Spirit was reminding me of what it means to die to self in this statement. The idea of dying to self is what God has been showing me in the last few years. We must put all of ourselves on the cross every day, everything about us, our families, our friendships, our goals, our careers, our pride, our ego, our interests, even our fears, absolutely all of ourselves, but most importantly, our wills. We must die to self on the cross as Jesus died for us. We must remind ourselves that we are His, and as believers in Christ, we were purchased with His blood. And with this transaction comes great responsibility not to self, but as this set of scripture teaches us, to those around us. Now believe it or not, how we act and how we treat others can have a profound effect on someone else's relationship with Christ. As believers, it is our responsibility to those around us. As we read, in our action, if our actions are indicative of our relationship with Christ, 
then how people see us living and treating others is going to be their perception of Christ. Thus, the importance of walking the walk. To some, the believer is the only Bible that they'll ever see. Now remember, too, that we will stumble and we will fall down. But we must get back up and we must remind, be reminded of the th these things like this that may seem so trivial to some. So as always, it is a pleasure to bring you all today's Heart to Home devotional, and I pray you were blessed in his message. You can check the description for a link for today's song if you'd like. And also, again, I always want to encourage this. Don't forget to share all of our messages on your social media uh, through liking, commenting, and sharing these messages uh, on your timelines. Be bold in sharing your love for Jesus to a lost world. So thanks again. I love you all, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.